Are you looking to move to the Colorado Springs area or you already live in the Colorado Springs area and you're looking to move to a different part of town? Today we're going to cover eight different neighborhoods on the south side of Colorado Springs, both kind of west and east sides that cover just kind of amenities, uh, schools, flavor and vibe, kind of what it feels like to live there and kind of the stats of what it is and what type of homes you're going to find down there. That's what we're covering today is eight different neighborhoods, popular neighborhoods on the south side of Colorado Springs. I connect with people just like you every day to help them discover where to live and invest in real estate and sell property for top dollar when the time is just right for them. My name is Leif Jacobson. I'm an ex-cop turned realtor, also known as Safe Leif. If you're new to this channel, subscribe so you're first to learn about Colorado real estate. My contact information is below. I'm excited to hear from you. Reach out by text, call, or email after this video. I'd love to hear from you or book a calendar event and I'll just reach out to you directly. That would work fabulously as well, whatever works best for you. So today we're covering eight neighborhoods on the south side of Colorado Springs because you don't know what you don't know. So let's get into it. segregate Southern Colorado Springs into two different areas, west and east. That's a good way to kind of categorize them a little bit. The southwest area is often referred to as the Broadmoor area or the Broadmoor neighborhood due to the proximity to the hotel. The Broadmoor Hotel was founded in 1918. It's owned by the Anschutz family. It's one of the nation's most prestigious historic destinations. It's a world famous luxury hotel with 20 restaurants, two legendary golf courses, world renowned spa, 20 distinct retail outlets, and an array of programs for guests of all ages and interests. It has a hotel there with over 700 rooms. The Broadmoor World Arena has hosted the World Figure Skating Championship five times in previous years. The Ames Forbes Travel Guide has given the Broadmoor a five-star rating for the past 54 years. The Broadmoor area neighborhoods known for are the Cheyenne Mountain Zoo, North Cheyenne Canyon Park, and the Helen Hunt Falls, all with, within minutes of each other, basically. They're all tucked into the southwest foot of Cheyenne Mountain and are really cool things to do with activities and place, cool places to visit. Southwest Colorado Springs highlighted neighborhoods are Stratton Preserve. 80906 is the zip code for this neighborhood. It's 80 acres of woods and meadows. It's the most impressive luxury neighborhood in Colorado Springs on the south side. There are large custom estates situated on oversized lots panoramic views of Colorado Springs in general, excellent hiking trails throughout the community and amenities like that. And the neighborhoods feature natural rock formations and wildlife, which creates an authentic secluded mountain living experience, kind of classic Colorado Springs style right at the base of the Rocky Mountains. Many homes feature architectural styles that remind one of French Chateau or kind of an old world estate. The Cheyenne Mountain School District is District 12. Nearby schools are Gold Camp Elementary School, Cheyenne Mountain Middle School, and Cheyenne Mountain High School. Average home price, $2.1 million. Average price. Average home size is nearly 10,000 square feet. And average year built is $19.99. Skyway Park is the next neighborhood we'll cover down there. It's 80905 is the zip code. It's one of the first developed neighborhoods in the city and some of the most breathtaking landscapes in the city, I would say. The neighborhood connects to Bear Creek Regional Park and Bear Creek Dog Park, which are huge, many, many acres, well over 500 acres of trails and open space. So those are awesome resources to have right nearby. This is Cheyenne Mountain School District 12 as well. Uh, Gold Camp Elementary School, Cheyenne Mountain Middle School, and Cheyenne Mountain High School are nearby. Average price is just under 1.5 million as far as homes in here. Average home size, just under 5,000 square feet, just over 4,800 square feet, I should say. Average year build is 1984 in that neighborhood. So the next neighborhood would be Broadmoor, Old Broadmoor and Broadmoor Heights, 80906 area code. Super luxury estates pretty much for Colorado Springs. This area is known for custom homes, beautiful scenery, pretty luxurious living and amenities and a rich history that allows, or that draws many people to the area. It's also same school as Cheyenne Mountain School District 12. Average home price 1.2 million, just over 1.2. Average home size is just under 4,500 square feet. An average year built would be 1990. Median age of residence is just over 55. Just a little interesting point of interest there. Next neighborhood we'll cover down in that area is Ivy Wild. All one word. 
80905 zip code. There's a high demand in this neighborhood due to proximity to downtown, but it's not nearly as high end as you know, Broadmoor and other areas like that, older and smaller homes, kind of a, more of a modge podge community down there. Canyon Creek Trail Town Home, so the newest part of Ivy Wild you know, for modern living in this historic part of town. Features homes built nearly every decade since the turn of the century, so there's quite a variety of homes down here. For this reason, home styles and sizes vary dramatically, so you can't kind of classify it as all one thing or one type of style. But it's one of the most unique neighborhoods in all of Colorado Springs, that's for sure. I would definitely confirm that. It's Colorado Springs District School District 11 and uh, Cheyenne Mountain School District number 12. So nearby schools are Hunt Elementary, North Middle School, and Palmer High School. Average home price, $534,000. Median age of residence, just under 50 years old, 47 and a half. Next neighborhood right down on the southwest side of Colorado Springs is called Stratmore. 80906 zip code. It's a prime location with quick access to almost every part of the city via 25 because it's right off of the interstate. So you can get anywhere pretty quickly on the south side of town or downtown. Pikes Peak Community College is located in this neighborhood. It's extremely affordable as far as the neighborhood in general on the south side of town. Most homes are between 1,000 to 2,500 square feet. Los Angeles homebuyers searched to move to Stratmore more than any other metro area, followed by Dallas and Washington State. It's super popular for Californians coming in. That may be good or bad. It, maybe it's good if you're coming from California. Bad if you don't like people moving here from California. <laughs> Quail Lake is down there, which is a nature area. It's centered around uh, the lake with fishing, volleyball, playgrounds, and a one-mile loop trail. I love doing loop trails right along lakes, so that's a fun activity down there. Whitefield School District 3. And the nearest schools are Mountain Vista Elementary School, Mountain Vista Middle School, and Harrison High School. Average home price, $374,000, so you get way more affordable while still being a great location in town and accessible to everything. Average home size is 2,200 square feet. Average year built would be 1978. And the age of residence, just for interest, is 31 and a half. Stratton Meadows is the next neighborhood we'll cover right in this area, 80905 and 80906. It attracts investors. There's plenty of rentals, especially as you go further south and you're not far from Fort Carson, you know, Peterson, and several of our military bases on the south side of town. So there's lots of rentals in this area and lots of investment properties, there's no question. It attracts people looking for an opportunity to own more affordable homes and or people who are in the military and don't want to live on base, but they want to live and own a home in Colorado Springs. Ramblers and ranch style homes with many built between the 1910s and 1950s. Mature landscaping and trees, you know, fences and backyards are common. There's a mix of homes with and without garage space. This is Harrison School District number two. The nearby schools would be Stratton Meadows Elementary School, Fox Meadows Middle School, Harrison High School, average home price $310,000. Average home size, 967 square feet. Kind of a classic style down there for a house is a little rambler with a single car garage with three bedrooms and one bathroom. It's a very common style of home that was built you know, again, in the 1950s, 1960s. That was a super, super common style of home, kind of demographic that we're building for down there. Median resident age is 36 years old in that area. Shopping in the southwest side of Colorado Springs. You've got the Broadmoor Town Center along South Nevada Avenue. There's several big box retailers like Home Depot, Ulta, and Old Navy. Uh, it's chain and fast food restaurants, of course. Uh, from the base of Cheyenne, Cheyenne Mountain, you've got Sam's Club. It's just 10 minutes away there. Natural Grocers, Sprouts, which is kind of a high end, uh, higher end local grocer in Colorado Springs, if you're not familiar. And there's some other specialty grocery stores about five minutes away from there. It's a movie theater within 10 minutes. Downtown Colorado Springs has lots of shopping and dining options, which is about 10 minutes away. Costco is about 20 minutes away, so it's super close. And Trader Joe's, which is fabulous. I love shopping there. It's about 20 minutes from there, right next to Costco off of Nevada, or South Nevada. The southeast area, we shift over the east side of Southern Colorado Springs. The two neighborhoods that we'll talk about, ideally for military families, primarily military families live there because they're right next to the military bases. The Glen at Whitefield and Lorson Ranch, which is a newer neighborhood on the southeast side of Colorado Springs. Advantageously located within minutes of the military operations down there, just a few miles southeast of Colorado Springs Airport, and just a few miles 
east of Fort Carson. The first neighborhood we'll talk about there of the two is the Glen at Widefield. It's 80925 is the zip code. It's a thriving neighborhood between Powers Boulevard and Mark Shuffle Road. It started development in the early 2000s. It continues to grow even to this day. It's a new section recently opened up off of Spring Glen Drive. Homes for sale in the Glen at Widefield are between 1,700 to 4,000 square feet in size. They're definitely kind of cookie cutter style of the newer homes that are going in there. This is Widefield School District 3. So the nearby schools are Sunrise Elementary School, Genitel Middle School, and Mesa Ridge High School. Average home price in this area, just over $500,000. So you're pushing 505,000 for an average home price. Average home size, 2,800 feet, or just about 2,900, and average year built is 2012. Lorson Ranch is the last neighborhood we'll cover. It's the other neighborhood on the east side of Colorado Springs, which has got some open space. The 80925 zip code, it's a newer neighborhood that's just planted over the last few years. There's 1,400 acres of master plan community here, so there's lots of space for many, many homes. They're just starting to build it out now. It's located on Mark Shuffle Road and Fontaine Boulevard. The community has parks and sidewalks, trails for running and fitness. It's growing very fast. There are thousands of homes going in. There's been 2,000 homes been, and been built there since 2007. It's estimated to cap right about 4,000 homes. So it's about halfway built out uh, on the 1,400 acres of land there. So this is also Whitefield School District 3. And the nearby schools are the new Grand Mountain School. It's K through 8 and Whitefield High School right in there as well. Average home price $457,000. Average home size is 2,300 square feet, just over that. And an average year built is 2018. Median age of residents here is much younger in these neighborhoods at 26 and a half. Shopping in Southeast Colorado Springs. Neighborhoods are conveniently located off of Powers Boulevard is the best kind of central shopping amenities to either the east side neighborhoods there. 15 minutes, south of a larger number of retail dining options, including Costco, Best Buy, JCPenney's, Kohl's, Target, Ulta. There's movie theaters, Tucano's Brazilian Steakhouse. If you've never been to Tucano's, it is quite an experience. It's all you can eat. It is a fabulous, every kind of meat you can imagine. They have sushi, all you can eat. There's huge buffets there. Man, it's, if you really are in the mood to eat a lot of food, then it's a fabulous place to go for a treat. And Texas Roadhouse and Longhorn Steakhouse are also right up that Powers Boulevard. So lots of amenities, super close to the Colorado Springs Airport if you're traveling to or from. And the Colorado Springs Airport is fabulous to travel in and out of. Just as a little plug for the airport there. I've never seen more than about 10 people in line at the Colorado Springs Airport for security at any time. So it's super fast, super seamless and easy versus DIA. Denver International Airport is packed. There's thousands of people there at any moment and Colorado Springs is a real treat to fly out of. And Southwest has a new hub in Colorado Springs that they just opened a couple years ago. So they connect with Southwest Airlines all over the place and all sorts of other hubs that they have. My wife and I fly Southwest all the time and we love flying out of Colorado Springs. So there are eight neighborhoods on the south side of Colorado Springs that you might not be familiar with or know about. So the goal here is to share information and little nuggets and flavor for how things feel and where you might like to be located for your next home please make me a resource for you. Reach out by text, call, or email. I'd love to hear from you. I'm excited to talk to you. Book a calendar event and I can reach out to you. Let me know also if you have other desires as far as videos you'd like to see. Are there areas, other school districts, other neighborhoods, other regions of town, kind of greater Colorado Springs, other areas you'd like to see. I'm all about producing videos that are not just about what I think is interesting, but what about you want to hear about. So I'd love to have your feedback and information. Let me know and I'll catch you in the next video.